What's going on guys, today we got an unboxing and a quick look at the Kit Vision Splash Action Camera. This has been something I've been looking at getting for a long time now and Kit Vision were kind enough to give us one to review, so big shout out to them. I'm going to get straight into a look at the box. At the box you can see that the specifications right here are that it takes a micro SD up to 30 gig, 32 gig, which is not included but you can get them really, really cheap. It has a sensor of 5 megapixels, lens of 120, it's 1080p which is fantastic. It's got a micro HDMI output, built in microphone, rechargeable built in battery and a battery life up to 90 minutes. I think that's quite reasonable as well. It comes with a case as you can see it displayed right there. Then to the bottom of the box you can see that it has the box contents which is the Kit Vision Splash Action Camera itself a mount adapter, a tripod adapter, 3 meters adhesive taps, a user manual and a USB cable. It also has a waterproof case, a 90 degree mount adapter, a hook mount, a bicycle mount, verted helmet mount and a flat adhesive mount. I think that's great that they give you so many different mounts and different things for the actual camera that normally you would have to pay for so that's quite a bonus. So let's get straight into it, open it up. So now we can have a look at the uh, Kit Vision Splash camera itself, now it's out of the box. So first of all what we have is the waterproof case which is available with it, you can use this when you use it in the water, when you go, in, when you go through the sea or you go swimming or something like that, or you can use it on your bike or when you're using it outdoors when it's raining, it keeps it safe, prevents it from going, getting wet and getting dysfunctioning. So that's a great asset and great advantage that they give with it. So to, to use this you just open it up right here, simple open it up, you put it inside and it still perfectly works fine. So the camera itself is a 12 megapixel camera, this is just for taking images which is absolutely fantastic. From some of the pictures that I'll put up later on you can see how good the quality is of the photos. <laughs> And then the video recording is actually 1080p, 720p or below that. It depends on how much memory you have on the SD card that is available with it. So the design of it is that you can see straight away there's a 120 degree angle lens which is for the recording and if you go onto the side of it you have a mode button and with this mode button you can see that there's a HDMI port next door and a reset button. And then going to the bottom we have the tripod inserter, this is where you put the tripod in and it will get stuck right into it and then back to the front if you go right to the top we can see that we have the power button, the record button, the image capture button and the off button. This is one button which allows you to have more than one function which is great. It stops there being multiple functions all over the device and then if I put it down right here we can see that we have the LTD screen which is a better way for you to navigate through your device. If I compare it to the GoPro it doesn't have a screen and you have to buy that separately so it's a huge advantage, saves you a bit of cost, saves you a bit of money and it might not be the best screen but it is still a screen and it's easy to navigate through. It is I believe VGA, if I turn it on you will see you presented by Kit Vision and then straight away you can go on to recording if you want to go on to the mode button you'll be able to just press mode and here is image capture at the moment I was 4 gig inside and it has quite a lot of pictures available to take and then if I press mode again these are the pictures that I've taken and I'll put them up so you can see a better quality if you hold down mode button you get more options and you can change the size, exposure, the anti shake the loop recording, motion detection and all sorts, all, all the good stuff and then you also have, if you press the top button this allows you to go right when you're navigating and just different options that you can change which is fantastic so yeah overall I have to say that this is quite a fantastic camera it does absolutely wonderful when you're using it for action and I have to say I recommend it definitely and you should go check out Kit Vision Comparing it to the GoPro, it is actually equally as good. Maybe not as good because I haven't used the GoPro yet, but I know the GoPro is absolutely fantastic as well. But when you come to price, that this is actually cheaper than the GoPro by at least 20-30 pounds. 
and it is well worth checking out for a Christmas gift or even for yourself. I've used it with my bike on a mount and I'll show you some pictures of that and I'll have some recording out soon. So be sure to check that out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.